Okay? So I'm trying to perform my I put uh, uh, two balls in a cup in a small container and then I roll it, I add my three down, crap. And I say, ask me how many balls are there. I already know how many balls are there. But if you tell me two and there are five, it means you are wrong. I want you to guess what is in the cup. Alright? It's a technique to prove your mind whether you know what is in the cup. Alright? Are you understanding me? Yes. Good. So, but this one is a magic, it's a magic of the candle. And I'm trying to bring all these ones under them into one category. Okay? Which I call occultism. Which means invoking celestial beings to work for you. Now, in occultism, the people who are into this, you do uh, money rituals. They themselves, they have spirits that they call, they invite to come and help them. So it's not like they are going to somebody, like I'm there, and then you are coming to me for money required. Okay? This time around, they themselves call on certain spirits, certain spiritual beings, to come and help them make money. And they have certain practices in perform, rituals in perform. And I'm saying that there are spirits. They are real. They are real, but are we supposed to call on spirits to make money while we are supposed to work? They're supposed to work. Okay. So spirits don't produce money. You reap what you sow. Thank you. Okay. So these occult, occultic people believe that when they invoke these spirits or powers, they can bring them money. That's why they do what they do. So in the process of performing or doing, engaging in occultic practices, number one, they perform what we call sacrifice, which we spoke about earlier. Hmm? They perform sacrifices to invoke the deities in order to make their money. And that is where sometimes they also use my, what do you call it, uh, candles. They can set up candles all around them in their room. Different colors, what have you, different sizes. Depending on what they believe the deity is person for, they put them there, they light them, and then they, they chant, they say certain words to invoke the presence of the spirit. Huh? That is what they call the magic of the candle. And it comes under occultism. Uh, they are invoking celestial beings to come to their aid, to come and help them do whatever they are doing. Whether it's acceptable or not acceptable, that is what they do. And normally, sacrifices, they end up using human beings for sacrifices. Killing children, women, and what have you, in order to perform those sacrifices. And then, this is where abundance ritual technique, which can also mean double money. <laughs> so you have 10 CDs, I say, bring me 10 CDs, I'll give you 10 million. <laughs> okay. Who will do that? Who will do that? Who will, that? Who will bring me 10 CDs and give him 10 million? <laughs> no, I want to know. <laughs> No, but those who go for those things, they know what they are going for. They need the money, so they go for it. So those who chase at that, then the future we just read, what was it saying? Those who love money will never get enough. Those who love money will never get enough. Normally, it is greedy people who go for such things. Oh, bring 10 cities, I will give you 10,000. You will carry the last 10 cities in the house and go and give it to the man. And the man will give it, he will never get the 10 million. Imagine if all of us are having 10 10 this year, and I say, bring them all to me, and I will double them for you. If I take all your pen, how much do I get? Count yourselves. Nineteen. One times eighteen. Eighteen. So ten times eighteen gives you what? Hundred and eighty. Hundred and eighty. So I am hundred and eighteen cities richer than you. Now you have become poorer because you don't even have your 10 <laughs> Are you getting me? So, these are all occultic practices. And then the last one, they are talking about what? The vaginal fluid. They are all occultic what? Practices. They believe that out of female genitals, they can invoke spirit to act. 
So normally, young girls suffer a lot, and these um, occultic people use young girls who love money. Okay? So the fact is that the love of money will lead you into all kinds of what? Evils. All kinds of evil. So money is good. Work for money, but don't love what? Money. Work for money. When you get money, money, money is sweet. When you see bad, I pray that God will give all of you money. Amen. You all become rich. Amen. Huh? You all become rich. As you are learning now, I think you want to go and use somebody's daughter to go and make money. That would be a curse for your generation. <laughs> so, it is something you are not supposed to practice. Now, uh, money requires in Ghana. Coded areas. Uh, let's mention them. It does not mean that they don't happen in other areas, okay? It does not mean they don't happen in other areas. They happen. But these are things that are known for this practice. They are known for this practice. They are known for this practice. So what causes this? This one. Five, five, six. What was this money result? Let's mention number one. Let's have free internet accessibility. Number two. All unemployment. Number three. Drug trafficking. Number four. Fear good influence. Number five. Informal reparation. Okay, so let me take it one by one. Unemployment. When people finish school and they don't get jobs, when people are looking for jobs and they are not getting, sometimes they are forced to go and do something to survive. So in their quest for survival, they, some of them end up doing money rituals to, 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 to get money. But money ritual is never the best thing to, do, to get money. And then peer group influence. When you find yourself among a particular group of people, who are ah. to stay away from them? Mm. Mm. Is it that they are stealing it or they are doing something, something to get it? Did you hear some, I think about two years ago, that some young boys went to kill their friend? Yes. 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 So, it means that like even children are into money rituals. Yes. That is why you have to be careful who you make your friend. Huh? Be careful who 